too much. It's too much. Oh, gosh. Wow. Gosh. It's too much. It's too much. Stop. It's too much. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Comedy Up Late. Are you well? Yeah. yeah, nice. Amazing. Such a beautiful crowd. Welcome. Welcome, beautiful crowd. Any parents in tonight? Give me a yell. <laughs> Their last bit of energy. There it is. There it is. I'm not a parent. I don't have any kids. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to my womb because I don't use it. I do use it. That's a silly thing to say. Of course, I use my womb. I live in Sydney. I store shoes in it. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any kids of my own, but I am an auntie. I'm an auntie of ten. I have five sisters. This guy's impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed with your outfit. <laughs> Ma matchy matchies with your, with your partner. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Bless you for being out in public. <laughs> um, I am an auntie. I'm an auntie of ten. I've had... Uh, um, oh, no, no, no kids. I've not had any. But my sisters, I've got five of them, very Catholic, very fertile women. They've had ten kids between them. I'm exhausted, is what I'm saying. I'm so tired. You can't say that. If you don't have kids, don't say that you're tired because um, you're not. You're wrong, is what you are. You're very wrong. I once accidentally said to my sister, I once accidentally said to her that I was tired, and she went, tired? She's got two kids. She goes, tired? You don't know tired. I said, but I do know crazy eyes, baby girl, and you've got them. But before I came down here to Melbourne, uh, my sister Terry said to me, oh, you know what, if you could just take Harry, that would be great because I need some alone time. And I said, yeah, sure, I just call it time, but I know what you're saying. <laughs> and so I took Harry out with me, uh, and by that I mean we went to the chemist because that's where I was going. And lots of sensory stimulation, it's really, it's, it's a fun place to be, isn't it? And so I went to the chemist and I went there because I had to fill my prescription for the pill. Like the one, you know what I'm saying? How sexy are irregular periods, fellas? <laughs> they were like, not at all. <laughs> so I went to the chemist. I went to the chemist. I took Harry with me. I, uh, I put in my prescription and the, the pharmacist said to me, it'll take about five, ten minutes. I was like, okay, cool, no worries. I put Harry down on the ground and he starts running around like the undiagnosed maniac that he is. <laughs> and he's climbing shelves and he's shaking shampoo and everyone's really tense. Everyone's really tense in the chemist. They're all tense. He's just, he's just a cheeky little one. Like, he's a bit of a terror. Like, not... He's not. That, culturally, that's confusing. He's not a terror. <laughs> He's just a cheeky kid, all right? But everyone was getting tense. At one point, he did put his backpack down. I was like, pick it up, mate. Pick it up. <laughs> it's like, if they see something, they'll say something. Don't. Don't do it. Don't freak them out. And that backpack, let me tell you, was uh, full of cheese sticks and yogurt squeezies and rock melon before that was a death wish and everything. It was just like... <laughs> packed, absolutely packed full with every treat you could think of. Like, he was, so, he was more prepared in that hour than I am my whole adulthood. Like, absolutely more prepared. But then the chemist called my name. So about 10 minutes pass and the pharmacist calls my name and, uh, and I walk over to the counter and I pick up Harry and he's kind of crawling around me like a deranged ferret, gifted child, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and I get up to the counter and, uh, and the chemist hands over the box of the pill, the one, and he looks at me and he looks at Harry and then he kind of looks at the box and looks back at me. <laughs> and he does that kind of judgy, knowing, like sympathetic look. And I was like, oh, I can play this character. I'd love to do this. <laughs> and so I took the box off him and I kissed it and I went, never again. And I just ran out <laughs> of the chemist. 